Human. Now that's a name I can trust. Hey guys, welcome to Console Choice. I'm Mark, and Nintendo has just added a game called Solar Jetman on the Nintendo Switch Online service. It's a great space exploration game, developed by Rare, that my brother and I had on the NES, and was one of the first video games I ever played. Check it out! But its arrival got me thinking of another sci-fi adventure game we had on the NES. The, the Adventures, Adventures of, of Rare, Rare Gravity! Gravity. It's an action platformer where you play as Rad Gravity, and you've been tasked by Kakos, a computer with one human eyeball, to reactivate the three sentient compumines that once united the galaxy, who will then establish the ancient galactic internet to protect the galaxy from the evil wizard Agathon. Though it might not be that simple. Oh, and this background story is told to you in a comic strip in the game manual. Game manuals used to be so cool! If you Google Rad Gravity Manual PDF, it's available to download and read. Thanks, Internet! I thoroughly enjoyed reading that in bed this morning. And now for the battle plan. As you all know, the key to victory is the element of surprise. Surprise! <laughs> anyway, you'll find the Compumines by navigating the galaxy in your ship with your funky one-eyed computer buddy, searching the available planets for space coordinates to more planet locations and stargates. You start off with basic life and armor and this dinky lightsaber for defense. But as you explore the galaxy's many planets, you'll find life upgrades, more upgradable weapons and gadgets to help you traverse the galaxy better. Hmm. Sounds familiar. And it wasn't until now that we had the technology to create it. I call shenanigans! The planets are rich and varied, taking you through cities, junk planet, world with giant dinos, and a standout, the planet Tervia, where gravity has been reversed. This game came out in 1990 or 91, depending on your region, 15 years before Nintendo used these kind of mechanics in Super Mario Galaxy. It's such a shame that Red Gravity came out after the 16-bit generation had begun, because this game had some great ideas. You'll also find yourself using some different modes of transport, including jet skis, this guy's cow, and these angry Roombas in order to progress through the world. There's even a space section where you travel an asteroid field using your gun to generate momentum. Amazing! Now I used someone's Let's Play footage, because I don't have access to this game, and I don't like emulators or ROM hacks or anything like that. But don't let the footage fool you, this game is hard. Other than its infuriating difficulty, this game's only real letdown is its music. Don't get me wrong, it's catchy as hell, but there's only the standard gameplay music. This boss theme. And the background bing bong when you're on the ship, which I could totally go to sleep to. Hmm, soothing. I'd love to play this game again, but it's one of those instances where the game is so old that ownership seems to have been split over time. In this case, between the original developer Interplay, who still exists as a publisher, and were actually the original creators of the Fallout series, and the original publishers, Activision who are now ultimately owned by Microsoft. Nintendo does at least have a pretty good relationship with Microsoft. We've got rare games like GoldenEye and Perfect Dark on the NSO after all. So maybe, with enough demand for the game, we could even get The, the Adventures, Adventures of Rare Gravity! So what do you think? I'm genuinely interested to know if you've ever heard of this game or played it, so let me know down in the comments. If you fancy, click like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching Console Choice. I'm Mark. Have a good one.